woolly and we woolly. They are Woodrow Wilson sheep. Woolly and we woolly. They are the White House sheep. Hey, Wooly. Today I was munching behind the vance and I noticed a big hole. Do we have other animals digging in the backyard? That, Wee Wooly, is an archaeological dig. You remember this was built in the 1840s, a very long time ago. You may also remember that when something broke or you had trash like chicken bones, you threw it in a mitten. Yes, I remember a mitten was a hole in the ground that you covered up when it was full of trash. Right. Then you would dig a new mitten. Sometimes people might lose an item like a coin or a marble. Stuff like this might be found when you do an archaeological dig. If I'm really careful, may I go see the dig? Let's go take a look. Let's see what archaeology can tell us about life from the past. An archaeologist begins with tools. Once the archaeologist has decided where to dig, dirt is removed and placed in a sieve. A sieve is a wire mesh piece that allows the archaeologist to sift through the dirt to make sure not to miss anything important. I bet archaeologists find a lot that way. Here's another important tool, a trowel. This is used to scrape away layers of soil. Sometimes, while carefully removing the soil, they might find another large piece. Then, an archaeologist will use a brush to clear away the dirt to reveal the treasure. I guess you can't just pick it up. It may be sharp. That's right. You have to be very careful. When you find a piece of broken pottery, we call that a shard. When you find this shard or artifact, it's measured and photographed exactly where it is and how it's found. You said the word artifact. I'm not sure what an artifact is. Good catch, Wee Willie. An artifact is an object made by a human, for example, a plate or a cup, even a marble. What do you think an archaeologist will find in the dig here at the manse? My guess is chicken bones. Usually archaeologists find pottery, like a broken plate, glass, animal bones, coins, or maybe even a toy. So once you find an artifact, take a photo and measure it, what happens next? Once the artifacts are washed carefully, each artifact is given a number, and the number is written on the artifact. If the artifact is a plate, the archaeologist will try to put it back together by gluing the pieces, just like doing a jigsaw puzzle. This is called conservation, meaning you are trying to make sure the artifact survives for a long time. Do you think we can see what they found? I really want to see if my guess was correct. I hope they find chicken bones. Well, you were right. The archaeologist did find chicken bones. What else? What else? Oh, I know how you like mysteries, Wee Willie. So what do you think a small teapot, a doll's head, a doll's arm might mean? Think like an archaeologist. I think, I think it means children lived here in this house and like toys today. Sometimes they just break. Right. The family probably got the tea set and the doll at the general store in town. Okay, this time. What do you think it means that the archaeologist found oyster shells and pottery shards? Hmm, I believe as an archaeologist that people ate oysters because Stanton had an oyster house where you could go and get oysters. Pottery shards, they're kind of easy. Everybody breaks a plate now and then. Last one. What about a button made of bone and a coin from 1979? That's kind of tricky, but I believe the button fell off of a vest or a shirt when the person was working with the animals. The coin, mm, someone had to cha had change in their pocket, and it fell out. You are quite the archaeologist. Let's keep looking, and always remember, it's not trash, it's future treasure. <laughs>